Hey guys, here we are. We're headed down to the lake on our fishing trip. We're about, oh, about an hour outside of Kansas City, uh, headed toward Clinton. And I think we're about 10 miles outside of Clinton here. It is now 9.39 a.m. And we should be at the lake here within the hour or so, I'm guessing. But yeah, we're gonna stop in Clinton so I can have a cigar. My wife won't let me smoke in her truck, so. We're gonna stop in Clinton, I'm gonna have a smoke. Got uh, the sister-in-law following us back there. See if you can see her back there. She's uh, borrowed my nephew's truck to take down there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But anyway, yeah, trust me, my sister-in-law's back there in my nephew's truck. Real nice uh, four-wheel drive Toyota Tundra. Yeah, guys, we just came into a little town called Tightwad, Missouri. There's something up here I want to show you guys here in a minute. Yeah, guys, we're in my element here. We're out in the country. Anytime you can see hay bales like that, man, this is, yeah, this is my kind of, my kind of place. But anyway, yeah, there's a bank up here that I wanted to show you guys that, uh, when the internet first got real big, this bank just got huge because everybody wanted to bank here. Uh, they were one of the biggest internet banks, one of the first banks to hit the internet. And, uh, oh man, it's closed. But anyway, I don't know, we flew by pretty quick. I don't know if you got to see that sign or not, but that was uh, the Tightwad Bank. So yeah, like I said, when the internet first got real big, everybody wanted to bank at Tightwad. So their checks said Tightwad Bank on them. But anyway, yeah, it's closed now. Man, I wonder why. Shoot. Yeah, like I said, they got real big on the internet. People banking via the internet. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to research that and find out why they closed. Yep, we are completely in my element out here. All the curvy roads, hilly roads, wooded areas. This is awesome. Yes, guys, every vehicle we own has a cracked windshield. I know, but man, it sucks to spend the money to have a windshield replaced and then have it happen again in two or three days. And, uh, yeah, insurance ain't as cool about it as they used to be. It used to be they'd just replace your windshield, no deductible or anything like that. And, yeah, that's all changed. Uh, when the economy went bad and companies got super greedy, you know how it is. But yeah, we just love this part of the drive down here, all this uh, country area. Curvy roads, hilly roads, it's a lot of fun to ride a motorcycle down here. And I'm just pulling to the parking spot straight ahead because I want to get a shot of the lake.
and here we are in Warsaw, Missouri, here in the parking lot. This is uh, the view from the parking lot where my wife's family reunion's going on. Got some people out uh, getting ready to start their day going fishing. These old boys here just launched their boat right over there. Bunch of other guys are already out. I guess they're having a fishing tournament here today. Um, we're supposed to be out of the building, I guess, by 2 o'clock so they can do their weigh-ins and all that stuff. But anyway, man, this is one of the coolest parking lot views I think I've ever seen. We come down here once a year for my wife's family reunion. My father-in-law and I were just standing out here talking, looking over at these trucks. And uh, we decided that this is a good test of the popularity of the makes and models of trucks here in mid-Missouri. We counted 15 Fords, 9 Chevys, and 1 Lone Dodge. If you look right there, you'll see the one Dodge in the middle of the whole bunch. Yep, but it looks like Ford is the popular truck here in mid-Missouri. Uh, even the Warsaw police have a Ford. So anyway, yeah, it looks like, uh, like I said, looks like Ford is the preferred truck here in mid-Missouri. 15 Fords, 9 Chevys, and 1 Lone Dodge. So sorry, poor old white trash man. Looks like maybe your kind is not welcome here in mid-Missouri. And here's the view from the balcony of the resort where we're staying. There's a little private marina they've got down there. And then this little cove, and then that's the main channel to the lake back there in the distance. But anyway, yeah, there's the view from from the second floor balcony. And look at that. Three dodges. So yeah, poor old white trash man, I guess your kind is welcome down here after all. Yeah, guys, this is my kind of living. That's the road we came down to get to our fishing hole. Not another human being within miles. We did have to brave some pretty good mud. If it hadn't been for, uh, you know, high ground clearance vehicles, neither one of us had to put it in four-wheel drive. But, yeah, like I said, if it hadn't been for the high ground clearance, we'd have never made it. And there was a couple spots where it was pretty good mud that I thought we'd have to put it in four-wheel drive. But we didn't. We made it through just fine. I don't know, it's about a half a mile from uh, 83 Highway up there, about a half a mile down this gravel and mud. And I mean, there's uh, trees down across this road and everything. But like I said, not another human being for miles, and that's exactly the way I like it when I come out to go fishing. Just our family. There's my sister-in-law there kicking it in the chair in the shade of our truck. My nephew's truck. And the kids down there fishing. Yeah, guys, this is just awesome. I could live in a place like this.
And here we are in the hotel room. Had an excellent day. We did the family reunion. And then, of course, we went fishing. And, of course, you guys saw the road that we went down to go fishing. Now we're back in the motel room. And here I am. No coffee this time. But I do have my Jim Beam Devil's Cut. And my whiskey sour mix. I've been drinking whiskey sours and smoking my cigars. It's a good day, guys. Real good day.